What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Janae. And it's your boy, Derek. Y'all see this, how y'all see what's going on today? We have a video for y'all that honestly, this is something that we have been going through for literally the last couple of weeks. And um, we feel like we should finally share with you guys because we finally are mentally at an okay spot to talk about it um, because it really was weighing in very, very heavily. And it was a lot for us to, you know, to grasp because honestly, I feel like I was in disbelief for a long time. Derek was in disbelief. Whew. But y'all see the title, so I guess we can get into it. Yeah, y'all really was hesitant about making this video. Like I said, babe, and I had to actually grasp what was going on and um, heal from the situation before we could even bring this to y'all's attention. Yeah. Um, we put Lux to bed, y'all, because he was doing a lot, as y'all can see. But yeah, um, we wanted to really come to y'all and just explain to y'all what happened because this probably could help a lot of y'all and stop a lot of y'all from getting done the same way. Because yes. uh, I've heard about this happening to people that we know, you know what I'm saying? And happening to people that we don't know on the internet, you know? So y'all listen close to this. I'm sure y'all gonna have something to learn, especially if you got a Facebook account. Because yeah. this is where this happened at, y'all. And you're making money. Yeah. And yeah. you count it as a source of income. Right. Y'all yeah. know as content creators, our incomes are diverse. And that's, the, that's how we're able to take care of our family, you guys. Like, um, we can't just live off one income. Living on one income is very, very hard when you create content. You know, unless you just booming on con on on cer a certain platform yeah. or whatever. But like, you're gonna need all your platforms to come together for you and make your income so you can live and live comfortably. You know what I'm saying? Right. And a lot of people may fail to realize. Um, a lot. I feel like a lot of people make the assumption that content creators are rich. A lot of them. So I just want to make that assumption very clear. Janae and Derek, we are not rich. We work hard for everything that we have. But we are rich in spirit and rich yes, in, in our soul. And that's why a lot of y'all come to our channel. You know, we can recharge you and we can inspire you, you know, motivate you. But money situation, I, that you know, that comes along that later down the road. I'm not, I don't have to have the most money in the world. You know, I don't have to be the richest. You know, I, personally, I can live with very, very minimal you know, um, income. I would say we're pretty minimal lippers, though. Like, yeah, we don't overdo it, you know. But that's the size the point. Make sure y'all like this video, man, because all the support that y'all give us is very, very greatly appreciated. And like we said, we are living off of the income from these platforms, you guys. Like, just being 100% transparent. Yeah, and also, before we hop into this video, y'all will understand exactly why I'm saying this, but our new Facebook description, and this is going to mean so much to me, please click the link in our uh, description box and follow and support our new Facebook channel because it's been a very long road. Definitely has been a very long road. Okay, so let's get into the story, you guys. So we recently um, hired a new member of our team this year um, to start handling emails and handling business affairs. And you it's know my what I'm sister. Saying? Exactly, it's Janae's sister. And yes. she hasn't done it before, so she's really, she was just getting really broke, broke in to, you know, doing the job. Um, and this is not her fault, you know at what I'm all, saying? It's not all. her fault, because honestly... And I don't want y'all saying nothing mean about my sister. So, we basically needed to reach out to her because we were starting to be in the process of ignoring business emails and just being engulfed with a lot of things because, you know, of course we're parents and we're trying to create YouTube content and TikTok content. And sometimes we fail to look at the email sometimes and respond on time. So I had reached out to my sister and I was telling her, hey, I don't know if you're interested in making some side money. I think that me personally, I would prefer to have um, someone that I know and uh, can trust with everything on our team to help us with our emails, to help us overall make money. And my sister's very professional. She's worked in different places, so she knows how to respond to emails and stuff like that. So we were trying to explain to her and we do have to take some percentage of faultage because Most definitely. we uh, were in the process of training her with certain things, but we kind of we kind of pushed it all on her, you know? Yeah, like, it was pretty fast. Uh, yeah. We've been talking about it for a while, but, you know, she just started with this year. So, like we said, she was fresh to the job and, you know, and how to handle things. She was really still in training. With her getting our emails, um, she would send us basically an email and ask if we're available for this meeting or available for this booking. It's so crazy that it messes me up because honestly, when we look through emails, obviously we have a certain eye. We've been doing this for years, so we know what's fake. Exactly, what's fake from our automatically. Like, so certain things wouldn't even make it a certain point. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't make it to a certain point. So, like, 
when we see, you see an email and it says Gmail behind it, that's not a real business emailing you. You know what I'm saying? It's a personal email emailing you, so it's not going to get taken seriously on our behalf. She doesn't know that. She didn't know that. So she um, basically someone emailed and um, was talking she to her. Sent it, she sent it to us though. For yeah, she proof. sent it to us for proofs, and we didn't even check, and that's on us too. She sent us. She sent us the email, and the email said that they wanted to book us for a Facebook podcast event and um, about, pay us. It was. It was about a love podcast. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? And it was something that we overall represented and I felt like we was gonna be a good fit. And so she's telling us he wants to talk to us and meet with and meet with us and told us how much he would pay us and just we would have to go live on Facebook. That's all we had to do. Right. You know, we scheduled a meeting, we got on the um we got on a meeting, it was a Zoom call, right? So we seeing this dude, right? The picture that's in the email is basically another dude. You know, it's not even the dude we talking to. So I, I the thing is, honestly, this is, where, this is where our first mistake came in at, honestly. We had Lux in the meeting with us. And he was and screaming. Exactly. We have never been in a meeting with him at all before. It was so a lot. It was a lot, a lot. Like, he was screaming, moving around. Y'all seen what he was just doing earlier in the video. Moving around, obviously doing what a kid would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a place for a kid to even be. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a business setting. So, the fact that Lux was there and that we wasn't all the way attentive to the meeting is where things start to slip out of our attention you know what i'm saying we're not paying attention how we really would and this is early in the morning like you know what i'm saying we're, we're really just you know going with the flow and so um the the even crazier part about this y'all is that we derek and i we sometimes miss meetings and we almost miss this meeting yeah but Derek and I, we was like, oh shoot, we forgot this, we got this meeting, we can't forget. My sister was also telling us, y'all, y'all got this meeting, don't forget. And also, that was another reason why we hired my sister, because she was gonna help us stay hold, like, be accountable. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's different when you got somebody texting you, you got this meeting today, don't forget. You know what I mean? Because y'all, if you're a mom and a dad, you understand how stuff can just be all over the place sometimes. Yeah, so when when we got into the meeting, like I said, we seen him on Zoom and um so we get to talking and everything like that. He's telling us, you know, how much we getting paid and all of these things that we're gonna get paid before the podcast. So he's just green lights for us. You know what I'm saying? Everything Obviously, sounded good. It sounded great. He knew exactly what he was doing, y'all. Like this is very premeditated. Um, and I'm definitely I, now that I see that he done this, a lot of other people and they have, and it's like a style of scamming. It's very, very discouraging for us because like, wow, we should have knew better. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been doing this for so long, and these things are so pivotal to our success, especially our Facebook page that you know what i'm saying it needed to be taken a lot more seriously and so, we truth yeah. be told y'all we was making a a nice amount of chunk of money on our facebook channel like it and i was so devastated when everything happened y'all but in derek's also what derek said he said that there was a different person that was the picture of the person that was that he was saying right he said he was but representing, he was representing them. them that's what he said exactly. so everything he was saying like okay could possibly be true things that's going on so yeah. you know what i mean i i, I was 100 percent locked in derek wasn't 100 percent locked in and you know what i mean we sitting there being parents of this guy y'all one thing that really had just bothered me for so long and it had me thinking some of the most hateful thoughts towards a human being and i really just had to go and cleanse myself because i don't even like thinking like that but he had looked at our son and he was telling us y'all are such a beautiful family and then turned around and stole what helps us be our baby y'all like, exactly. He literally that took an income from us. So destroyed me. Right. So let me tell you exactly what happened. We was in the meeting. He said, um, "Yeah, so this is an event. I need to make sure your settings are right for we can so we can join the event when it's time to join it." He's like, "Okay, you know." So he's like, okay. "I'm like, he's trying to guide me through the process." He's like, "Here, you should just share your screen so I can just walk you through it." I'm like, "Okay, babe. All right, we can do that." So I share my screen to him, and um. We go through the situation. We go through the uh, we go through the the process or whatever. He's walking us through. He's talking really fast, y'all. Like he's talking fast. And um, by this time, I'm like, man, Lux is doing too much. So I tell Nay and Lux, y'all go ahead. Y'all go do this. I'm let me focus on this. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't and, even focused, y'all. Yeah. I was not focused on anything he was really saying because Lux was really like sliding off my lap, throwing his head back, all types of baby stuff. <laughs> yeah, we learned a big lesson with that. So when they left. Um, I, I kind of got locked more back in, but obviously I'm thinking about other things at this point. I'm still not focused. You feel me? Like I'm still not focused like I should be. And like I said, I'll take majority of the blame for this because I literally told them to go ahead and leave and I'll handle it. And the fact is, I didn't still didn't get the gist of what he was doing, y'all. So he ended up basically getting out, um, getting some uh, account numbers and things like that to where he could um, 
And he basically got me to, you know, add. You didn't give him the account number. No, he seen the account number. After Derek and I had walked out of the room, look, I think Derek was on the phone for probably like two more minutes. Yeah. And I kind of had asked him, I said, you know, what happened after that? Like, is, what's, what's going on, you know? And he told me that the guy said that he would be in touch with us with a specific time of the live right. broadcast. Right, so he said, wait 24 hours and a live button will pop up. That's what he told me. He said, just wait 24 hours. You know, I thought he did the fast talking and all of the things that walked me through it. I'm like, all right, let's finally get this over with. I'm, I'm talking out of this meeting. You know what I'm saying? And we should, honestly, y'all, we should have hung up on him a long time ago. We right. should have just, just hung up on him, pushed the hung up button and just been done talking to him, truth be told. But we didn't. No, I wish we definitely did. All right, so we ended up getting out of the meeting and we was waiting on the button to pop up or whatever in 24 hours. He said, just leave everything how it is, which was sus. And um, <laughs> we, did, we did that. So uh, about a day later or two days later, um, my, my friend yeah. messages me and y'all when I tell y'all like we have so many business meetings we have so many so, so I'm just thinking this is just another normal business so my friend messages me and sends me a screenshot she just sent the picture and didn't say say nothing and it said that the page Janae and Derek has been now changed to USA vibes the, the thieves right so I'm like hold up Ah, immediately, immediately, y'all, my heart falls into my big toe, like immediately. I was literally in Shake Shack. I'm in the store ordering food, and she texts, she calls me and says, Derek, he, our Facebook gone. I'm like, what? What you mean? I already, I already knew at that point, I said, he hacked us. That's what happened, we got, and we had time to fix it and all, but we, we just didn't think of it and our minds wouldn't on track. You didn't have no time to fix it? No, we had time to think about it. I'm talking about even like after the meeting, like if we would've got on her and did, undid the stuff that he did on her, we would've, we would've saved our page, you know, but uh, we didn't. So at this point, he now has access to our business manager account. He has access to our account numbers, our bank all account our numbers, content, our, all, all of our content, everything. our address, everything. He has, he, has, he has everything. So he basically has our whole, his, he basically has our whole identity in his hands at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because now he can do whatever he wanted to do. Um, and the fact is, I don't think taking the I don't think taking the page was his main thing. I think taking the page was cool, but he wanted to promote his own products on the on our page, and he wanted to get into our business account so he can pay for ads on his videos and on his content. That's what he was trying to do, y'all. Fifteen thousand dollars worth of ads on his page. That's what he wanted to do from our account. You know what I'm saying? So like this dude right here was literally trying to steal from my family. He literally like took a whole income trying. Well, exactly. He he did steal from my family. He he stole a whole income source from my family as well. Like every month. Like and the fact is, we should have just not even went to the meeting. We should have realized we can't say that, though. from the beginning though. If we'd have seen the email, that's all we had to see. Oh, that's not a real email. We're not getting on anything with you. We're not showing you. It was so many steps we let fly and let pass that we can only just look at ourselves and be like, why did we do that? You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, life's a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, like I said, we passed and now I'm not really too mad, too angry because I know that I, I get would. it back. I know I always had when even when she told me that, I'm like, man, we're gonna get it back. Like I was, that's how I was thinking, like we're gonna get it back, we're gonna get it back. We we listen, we've been talking to Facebook for a long time now, like weeks. Yeah, and oh, Facebook. Call, I, if I saw you how many times we called Facebook and emailed them and messaged them, it was over at least 50, 60 times now having conversations with different people and they all giving us a runaround. It's just our page. We done made a lot of money with y'all and y'all can't give me my page back. Like it ain't even that. It's not even like you can see, I can show you these transactions, big transactions, and y'all telling me that this ain't my page and y'all can't get it back. Facebook, y'all need to get y'all shit together, bro. Like, y'all are terrible customer service representatives. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all this if you got anything, any problem with Facebook, bro, just go ahead and throw it in the ditch. It ain't getting handled because they do not do good business. Another thing is because y'all know Facebook and Instagram is basically under the same thing, y'all. And this is not even the first time we've had issues with Facebook just not giving a dang about anything you got going on and taking your page. And the crazy part is, y'all, they say you buy you buy the check, you'll be able to be in contact with Meta at an instant and stuff like that. Y'all, we bought the check not once, not twice, but like three times. Because I, I don't give a damn about a blue check. Neither does he, but we like, okay, we need to figure out a way to get in contact with these people so they can understand the seriousness of what's going on. Y'all, we literally, like he said, it was a runaround. It was just a bunch of stuff just going on. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all. 
Yeah, y'all know Derek expressed how he felt, but I'm telling y'all, I was thinking some of the most cruel, most hateful things. I, e I emailed the guy back and I said some very mean things to him. I, I just was wishing so many, I y'all, if I told y'all some of the stuff that I was wishing on this man, y'all wouldn't even look at me the same. So I'm not even gonna tell y'all, but it's just like, to, to have something like this just taken from me, some stuff that you worked so hard for, some stuff that was rewarding you for working hard, some stuff that you built up, some stuff that you had trillions of views on, you had so many supporters, you had so many connections with individuals, and y'all, they took our page and our supporters on Facebook don't even no, know. No, they're still supporting the page they that don't this dude even has got. Oh, y'all. <coughs> like, the guy can post something dumb and say something like, Watch out, watch your back. All of our supporters that was ours, they, you right, watch your back. Like, they just commenting back and saying all type of stuff, y'all. There's just been, it's just been, woo. It's been a draining situation, y'all. Y'all know we was gone from YouTube for a while. And honestly, I wish we never would, did get away from YouTube as much as we did. You know, all, all our platforms together, like I said, was helping us live. Now we have to take YouTube a lot more serious because we don't have a Facebook page that's bringing income in anymore. Just to be just to be 100% transparent, and it probably will get it. We'll probably get it back by the end of the year. Get it to a nice pace, you know. Um, but we're gonna keep working, and uh, we ain't gonna let it discourage us. I know this ain't the end of a journey. It's just literally like a little bump in the road, and we're gonna keep pushing. You feel me? Because he ain't stopping nothing. He ain't stopping no motion. Y'all really rock with us, and I know it. And we're gonna continue to give y'all good content and continue to connect with y'all on a high level. Yeah. So again, like we said, y'all, our new Facebook link it will be in the description. We would appreciate truly wholeheartedly if you guys did support that. You know, share with your family and friends. The content that he had on there, some of that was so personal. Some of it meant so much to us. And it wasn't even just about the posting it. It was about the memories, you know, keeping track of some of the stuff that we had on there. And he just took it all away. And that's one thing that, you know, another thing, there's, there's so many things that it just, this, this whole concept would just destroy you. And it's just like, yo, we literally was robbed. And we, and we helped the robber. Yeah, I never and felt so betrayed. Know. Yeah, I never felt so betrayed. We before. didn't know. We thought we was going to have a beneficial business with this man and work together, get paid, and that was it. And I feel like to see and to know that people are out here and they're capable of doing things like that, I believe wholeheartedly karma will come back and hit you in a place that you do not want to be hit at. And so that's why I really just, after about two or three days of <laughs> feeling some rage toward this man and commenting on all the posts that he's posting and telling these people, this is not his page, this is Janae and Derek's, report this, spam this with the you stole this page, you know what I mean? Even though that's not gonna really do anything. I just hope that half of our supporters would see the comments and be like, oh, this is Janae and Derek, you know what I mean? But even after all of that, I just took the time to realize and prayed about it. And I know that God is with good hearted people. That's I, that's all I can say. I'm not Whatever you put out is what you get back, y'all. So yes, sir. Always put good out and you'll get good back. And work hard for what you want. Right. Don't take stuff from people, y'all. Especially families. Some people work so hard for stuff, and I'm gonna be honest with you. The work ethic that Derek and I had across all platforms, even though we might not have uploaded a YouTube video every day, but the work ethic it was unmatched and i know that people that work hard they will be paid back in a, in a great manner you know what i mean hard work beats talent every time y'all so we're gonna keep working hard you know we need y'all support more now than ever y'all i'm telling y'all we've been on a youtube grind now but it's been about 30 days straight we've been giving y'all a lot of content only missing at least only one day in between videos y'all we need y'all to help us push through this so we can continue to get our good content and um yeah. uh, influence y'all in the best way right and y'all i know that um with this, I know y'all probably didn't hear much about us sharing this or saying anything about this, and this is probably the first thing y'all heard. I mean, if you follow us on Instagram, you definitely seen me say something about it, maybe once or twice. I said something about it, but it's so crazy because once we realized that he had access to our home address and a whole bunch of other stuff, thinking about the page itself and the followers and the content was then began becoming the least of our worries. Like, dang, you know everything. You, you got know everything. everything. You got all our bank account information. Good thing we got insurance on our bank accounts and stuff like that because whatever you take, we're gonna get it back. And you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna change up all our accounts and get everything situated with that. And hopefully we can even, maybe even get the page back eventually down the road. Or we're just gonna, gonna continue to grow our page that we got with the new page. So yeah, I go through the storm to get to the sunshine. Yep, we take L's and we wear them like champs, okay? A lot of people won't share their L's, but hey, you know what I mean? I feel like, like we said, we feel like somebody can learn from this. We feel like 
somebody needed to hear this, somebody might have thought them emails that was coming in their email was a little suspicious. Go with your gut. Well, you guys, that's all for today. That's all the video we got for you. We have moved past this, and we're going to continue to do it. So, y'all, make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're not the biggest. Oh, you're realist. Oh, um, love.